Now, we want to not be the first one who strikes. Self-defense, you got to call your own self-defense. But we want to make sure you're punching properly. Do not put your thumb in your fist. Upon impact, your fist will close on your thumb and break it. We want to make sure we park our thumb in the driveway, not in the garage. So, we're going to ball our hands up. Roll, 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 roll. Next, we're going to put our hands in a race stance. Boom, boom, right? Left foot's going to step. We're going to bring our left hand back like a bullet ready to shoot out of the chamber. Step and twist our hip. Punch, boom. Step forward. Now watch. Hip, twist, punch. Three. And four. Now backwards. One. Two. As you can see, most techniques can be coming forward or backwards depending on either attack or retreat. But to make sure, you want to make sure, the most important thing, put your thumb there. Here's the power of a front punch. They say a front punch is equivalent to dropping a 12 pound bowling ball off a six foot ladder in a designated spot. So, to save my hand from bleeding today, I'm just going to put a towel, you see, nothing in my hand, nothing in my hand like magician, right? Simple as that. Real brick. Okay, I'm going to tee out through. Ah! And my hand is fine.